my fair Hippolyta, our nuptial hour draws on apace. Four happy days brings in another moon. But oh, how slow the old moon wanes. She lingers my desire like to a stepdame or a dowager, long withering away a young man's revenue. Four days will quickly steep themselves into night. Four nights will quickly dream away the time. And in the moon, like to a silver bow, shall we hold the night of our sovereignty. Illustrate, stir up the Athenian youth to merriment. Awake the pert and nimble spirit of mirth. Turn melancholy forth to funeral. That pale companion is not for our pomp. Hippolyta, I wooed thee with my sword. I won thy love doing the injuries, but I will wed thee in another key with triumph, pomp, and reveling. Happy be Thesis, our now do. Thank you, Aegeus. What is the news with thee? Full of vexation to my, with complaint against my child, my daughter Hermia. Stand forth, Demetrius. My noble lord, this man hath consent to marry her. Stand forth, Lysander. My gracious duke, this man hath bewitched the bosom of my child. Thou, thou, Lysander, thou hast given her rhymes and interchanged love tokens of my child. Thou hast by moonlight, by her window sung, with feigned voices of feigned love, and stolen the impression of her fantasy with bracelets of thy hair, gauds, rings, consents, nosegays, sweetmeats, messengers of strong, pavilion, and unarmed youth. With cunning had built thy daughter's heart, turned her obedience, which is due to me, to stubborn harshness, my gracious duke. I beg the ancient privilege of Athens, as she is mine, and I may dispose of her as she doesn't consent to marry to this man, or we shall put her to death according to our law immediately provided in that case. What say ye, Hermia? Be advised, fair maid, that to you your father should be as a god, one to whom you are but as a form in wax, by him imprinted and within his power to leave the figure or disfigure it. Demetrius is a worthy gentleman. So is Lysander. In his own kind he is, but in this wise wanting your father's voice, the other must be found the worthier. I would my father looked for with my eyes. Rather, your eyes with his judgment looked. I do entreat your grace to pardon me. I know not by what power I am made so bold, nor how I may concern my modesty in such a presence here to plead my thoughts. But I beseech your grace that I may know the worst that may befall me in this case, if I refuse to wed Demetrius. To die, the death, or forever to abjure the society of men. Therefore consider well your choice. Look to your youth. Examine your blood. Whether you yield not to your father's choice, you can endure the livery of a nun. For I to be in shady cloister mewed, forever the barren sisterhood, chanting faint hymns at a cold, fruitless moon. For such are those that bear the maiden pilgrimage. Happier is the rose distilled than that which, withering on the virgin thorn, grows, lives, and dies in blessed singleness. Who so will I grow, so live, so die, my lord? Ere I will yield my virgin patent up unto his lordship, whose unwished yoke my soul consents not to give sovereignty. Take time to pause, and by the next new moon, the ceiling twixt my love and me for everlasting fellowship. Upon that day, prepare to die for disobedience to your father's will, or to wed Demetrius as he would, or on Diana's altar to protest for I, austerity and single life. Relent, sweet Hermia. Lysander. Yield thy grace title to my certain right. You have her father's love, Demetrius. Let me have Hermia's. Do you marry him? Scornful Lysander. True he hath my love, and what is mine, my love shall render him, as she is mine. All my right of her I do estate unto Demetrius. I am, my lord, as well derived as he, as well possessed. My love is more than his. My fortune's every way as fairly ranked if not with vantage as Demetrius, and which is more than all these boasts can be, I am beloved of you, dear Hermia. Why should not I then prosecute my right? Demetrius, I'll avouch it to his head, made love to Nadar's daughter, Helena, and won her soul, and she sweet lady dotes, 
devoutly dotes, dotes in idolatry upon this spotted and inconstant man. I have heard so much, and I thought I had with Demetrius spoke thereof, uh, and I am so very full of self-affairs that my mind did lose it. Uh, Demetrius, and uh, you come with me, and you just come along. I have some private schooling for you both. And Hermia, fit your fancies to your father's will, or else the law of Athens will yield you up, a law we may not extenuate to death or single life. Hippolyta, what cheer, my love? With duty and desire, we follow you, sir. 